Hello, welcome to McGraw-Hill's ARIS Online Homework Help Module. Over the next few moments, I'm going to show you how to import your chemistry answers into the ARIS Online Homework Program. Within ARIS, you'll find a few different types of answer palettes based on what the question is asking for an answer. If I scroll down to the current problem, I can see it's asking for two different inputs. It's asking write a balanced equation for the reaction depicted below. And in this question, when I click in the box, you'll see the answer palette that pops up. So to answer this question, I'm going to need to use the tools in this answer palette. So let's give it a try. So now I've reached the point of the problem where I need to enter in a subscript. To find the tool that I need, I can go down to the tools menu, and as you mouse over each tool, it will tell you exactly what you're looking for. So I'm looking for subscript, and I'll enter in my subscript. To get back to the main line, I need to click within the box and then enter my next keystroke. So follow along as I answer this problem. And now I've reached a point where I need to add it a reaction arrow. So going back down to the menu, I mouse over the feature and I see reaction arrow. I click on that and it shows me a few different reaction arrows I can choose from for this problem. I'm looking for this one. And it enters the reaction arrow in for you. Let me continue finishing my problem. And now I'm finished with that part. The second part down here is asking for a simple numeric answer. And here a different answer palette pops up. Although I won't be using it for this problem, using it is easy. I click within the box, and I add my power of 10 that I need to. If I need to change or edit anything, Pushing the backspace button will do that for you. And once I decide that I'm happy with my answers, can hit the check answer button. And based on how your instructor set up your assignment, you may be able to receive tutorial feedback as you work through the problem, possibly a second time. Thank you very much. This now completes this module.